I've been working on the Edmonton Protocol, putting islet cells into patients' livers for the past 20 years now, and we've got really good, exciting, uh, short and long-term data, including a few of those very early patients still insulin-free 20 years later. So we're trying to turn that treatment into a cure. We're also now taking uh, patients' blood samples and turning the blood into islets. And we do that by uh, turning the blood cells into what are called IPS cells, uh, using a technology that was developed by a Nobel scientist called Yamanaka in Japan in 2007. And we can now take those um, stem cells, IPS cells, and over 27 days, exactly the same number of days it takes to develop a pancreas and islets inside the pancreas that make insulin in an embryo, in those 27 days we can now take those IPS cells from patient's blood and turn them into islet cells. And we've been able to transplant those now into mice and reverse diabetes in mice. So what we're hoping to do now is to take that work and take it forward into patients. It's a big step forward, a big bold step forward. We need around $15 million in funding to move that forward upstairs. We've got all the facilities here that we need to do that. Greg Corbett has a beautiful GMP facility on the top floor of this institute and we're hoping to take the work that we've done in MICE now, expand it up, scale it up with, with funding so that we can begin to start treating patients with their own cells. The beauty of that approach is we could do a transplant with no anti-rejection drugs and with a limitless source of cells made from the patient's own cells so they'll be completely compatible. We're working on that, we're very excited about it, and we're attacking on this problem basically on all fronts. I'm very convinced that a cell transplant therapy is definitely on the cards for a cure for diabetes. And now we're 100 years, we've had 100 years of insulin, now we need something better.